So we got here candy bars, turning thirty dollars. Hotel for two city staff, eight hundred dollars, forty four cents. And uh, you know if they're gonna buy that much candy, well, can't they share with us bullhead residents? Share the candy. I think some of us would like to have some candy too. And this is a response to Mr. Pryor as to the complete expenditure. Over here is when we where we get into the actual figures. I don't know how the Bullhead City people are okay with this. People that have a make a decent salary can instead of spending their own money, they have to spend the people's money, the people of Bullhead City. Advertising on the billboard with Steve D'Amico's photoshopped image. Paid for, but not by himself. Now let's contrast this, say, this behavior because um, Steve D'Amico in particular and some of the other ones, they are relying on money from the city. Contrast that with Asha Garrick. What does she have? She has a law degree. So does would she need to do spend the city's money like this or would she spend her own money? In other words, she is not running for mayor because she needs the money. Now Steve D'Amico on the other hand, as far as we know, is unemployed. And he's a retired pit manager of some kind of casino. And it seems like to me that he is getting into this job for all the goodies, for all the benefits. And that person that does that is not putting the city of Bullhead first. You're going to have a recipe for disaster when you elect somebody like that. That's why it's better to elect Ashley Garrick, who doesn't need this job. Even Wahid, Dr. Wahid, does he need the money? That tells you, you gotta look at a person's background and you have to look at a person's even socioeconomic background because if somebody is if they have a reputation for living a, a some, something of an ascetic lifestyle where they don't really spend that much money, they know how to budget, they don't really care for money, and then they want to run for office like this, well, that's all well and good. However, that's not the case with D'Amico or even the rest of the people uh, that are in the mayor and council. So you have to also consider that putting somebody in office like that, that has a weakness for spending other people's money and cannot work himself, him or herself, well, you're just begging for disaster.